Well, we begin in the Horn of Africa, where flooding continues to wreak havoc in countries including Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia. Since October, the region has been experiencing intense rainfall and deadly floods linked to the El Nino weather pattern and the Indian Ocean dipole weather phenomena. In Somalia, the state news agency Sona says nearly 100 people have died from the floods. The UN describes the flooding as the worst in decades, displacing around 700,000 people in the country. Widespread flooding has worsened the existing humanitarian crisis caused by years of insurgency. Meanwhile, in Kenya, the Red Cross reports that floods have killed 76 people in the country. The floods have destroyed infrastructure and left many without shelter, water and food supplies. So far, over 36,000 households have been forced to relocate. Forecasts predict that El Nino rains could extend to January of next year, affecting urban centers and semi-arid lowlands. A multi-agency response team will be airlifting food, clean water, medicine and temporary shelter to flood victims. Kenyan state departments, including water, energy, roads and health, have also been activated to monitor the situation and deploy emergency aid to households marooned by floods. Residents of landslide-prone highlands have been asked to move to safer grounds. Well, for the latest, we're now joined by Daniel Arab Moy, who is in Nairobi. Um, Mohamed Kakia is in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Daniel, let's begin with you. Kenya has intensified its response to El Nino floods. However, the death toll has climbed to at least 70 people who have lost their lives. Daniel, what is the situation across the country right now? Well, Anna, to say at the least, the situation is really, really devastating. You know, for properties of people uh, waking up one morning and your family is swept away, your property is swept away, that is one, uh, that, that is one issue that really majority of people in the affected areas have, have gone through. It is a devastating impact of climate change that we're seeing happening in uh, this part of Kenya, Anna. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the death toll in Kenya has increased to 70. Just last week, we had about uh, uh, 53, but now we're seeing the death toll increasing. Now, these are ongoing rains. And uh, the ongoing rains have only made it devastating. And uh, the 70 that we're talking about could actually be uh, 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 an underestimate of the number of those that have died. Remember, there are those that have been washed away, that uh, they cannot be accounted for. But we're also talking of uh, properties. We're talking of cows, goats, chicken, all washed away. Anyway, so that is how dire the situation here in, in, in Kenya. But looking at uh, the general area, uh, uh, Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, from last week we had about 130 people reportedly dead. But now with Kenya going to 70, Ethiopia with over 90 people dead, we are talking of about, about 180 people that have died due to the uh, floods that is affecting uh, the region, Anna. So Daniel, what more can you tell us about the government's response and also the announcement that was made on Saturday that it would avail additional funds and deploy the military to bolster the response to these raging floods? Well, and President Ruto uh, had a meeting yesterday with uh, some of the agencies that are responding on the ground. And uh, what he discussed with them is uh, how the government can help, how the government can come in to respond more effectively, especially to, in areas that are badly affected. We are talking of uh, the coastal areas. And uh, we are looking at uh, 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 rivers that have burst their banks, you know, affecting the entire community. We are being told that areas in Garissa are all flooded because of the heavy rains. So the government is trying to come up with a, 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 a one collective budget to help respond. And uh, President Ruto uh, uh, has spoken to his military. He wants the military to uh, come in and respond by lifting a relief aid and, and by also supplying a medical care to people that are affected in those areas. And uh, we are looking at uh, about uh, $15 million that the government is proposing to, to, uh, to rally or to come up with in support of the people that are affected. And uh, Anna, President Ruto uh, had this to say uh, about uh, the flood that is uh, affecting many parts of Kenya. Government of Kenya made available resources to the special, um, uh, to, the, to the Ministry of ASAL to make sure 
that adequate food is available. Already 2.4 billion shillings have been made available to buy food and to make sure that that food is delivered where it is most needed. Adequate resources will be required, and that is why this team is now working on numbers so that we can mobilize the resources necessary to make sure that we attend to the roads that have been washed away, provide alternative um, roads and pathways to different parts of, uh, of the country. Well, floods in Somalia have also caused a lot of devastation there. We're now speaking to Mohammed Kakia, who is in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Mohammed, the government agencies are reporting that the number of people killed by floods from heavy rains in Somalia has climbed to at least 96. What more can you tell us? Well, uh, Hannah, the situation, uh, flood situation here in Somalia is no different from what is happening in, 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 in Kenya, if not worse. Well, according to Somalia's uh, Disaster Management Agency, which is uh, deeply involved in the rescue operations, uh, so far, as we speak, the death toll of related to flood in the stands at 96. 28 of them uh, lost their lives during the past 48 hours in uh, one of the most affected regions in the country, uh, namely uh, Juba, which is bordering Kenya. Well, those people, died unfortunately after a boat they were uh, traveling in, uh, you know, capsized and there were no, you know, nearby uh, other rescue team and, uh, in, in the area. Well, this is also uh, more than 2.2 million people have been directly impacted by this flooding. Well, most of them being, uh, uh, you know, uh, farmers and livestock keepers. Well, uh, and also uh, uh, more than 3,500 livestock have perished in this uh, uh, ongoing flooding, which is severe in Somalia. Most of affected regions uh, uh, are now inaccessible uh, due to road networks being cut off. And, and also, uh, because of the weather conditions, uh, uh, rainy conditions, is also the, 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 the air transport is also becoming very, very difficult. For, so Somalia has, be, you know, has been facing a lot of uh, drought situation during the past one year. And now comes this flooding. Now the, it, it has put the country into in a, in a, in a very difficult situation. And the, the, the government, in coordination with the international organizations, are trying their best. But still, this is a big, big challenge in trying to help people impacted by this flooding, which stand at 2.2 million. And uh, as uh, rains continue every day, uh, the number of people who are in danger of being, you know, swept away by the rains, by the, the flooding, are, are, are becoming more and more. Mohammed, when you speak about the government and its partners doing more to help people who've been affected by these floods, can you give us details of what they are doing to just help the people who've been devastated by these floods? Well, yes, Hannah, uh, the Somalia's Disaster Management Agency, in coordination with the international organizations, including the United Nations organization based in the country, are doing their best to help uh, people impacted by this flooding. We have seen that uh, the, 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 the agency uh, has deployed a lot of, you know, uh, uh, boats in, in most of more difficult areas impacted by this flooding to try to rescue people from, from trapped in their farms, in their homes, in, 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 in their, with, with their livestock. But that is not enough uh, compared to what, is, what we see on, on the ground because uh, this heavy flooding has affected most part of the country. And, and, uh, and, and even here in Mogadishu, we have seen that uh, heavy rains have, have interrupted, you know, businesses, movement of people. So the government is trying its best with international organizations, but one of the most biggest challenge here is constraint, is financial constraint, uh, because Somalia has been just uh, out of a drought situation, and uh, no one is expecting this, and, and, and it just happened, and the international organizations together with the Somalia's government are appealing for more funding to respond to this uh, uh, latest crisis. 